With this one, the result is counterintuitive and may come as quite a surprise. So follow very carefully. I was delighted when Cardiff University decided that this centre could be named the Bill Mapleson Centre. For the international community of anaesthetists, Bill Mapleson is our most famous scientist. He is known, and when he is known personally, he is loved and appreciated. He has helped so many young scientists over the years, so many young clinicians over the years. He has made tomorrow's generation of academic anaesthetists. Looking at that CO2 trace, I think we're probably rebreathing a little. The Bill Mapleson Centre is a centre for innovation, enterprise and education in line with Cardiff University's innovation system. It is a collaboration really quite unique between academia and industry. With FlexiCare's long-standing history in anaesthesia, we are delighted to have the centre named after Professor Bill Mapleson in honour of his contribution to the field. Now that completes our analysis of System A, so we'll take a break before going on to look at the other systems. Last time, we looked at various semi-closed anaesthetic breathing systems. This one is calibrated for halothane up to 4%, and you may find the answer there. Happy analoguing. The thing that um, made my name in anaesthesia was um, not the original research of um, gallabine triothiodine. That's completely forgotten. Everybody knows about Bill Mapleson and his circuits. Mushin drew out five anaesthetic breathing systems. I said, have a look at these, Bill, and see if you can work out what conditions are required to prevent rebreathing in each one. He didn't tell me anything about the systems, but I needed some way of identifying them. And he gave them each a letter. A, B, C, D, E. And um, talked about system A and system B and so on. Two years later, at a meeting of the anaesthetic section of the Royal Society of Medicine, uh, uh, talks and discussion in this area, I found people were referring to the Mapleson A and the Mapleson B, thereby became the first person in anaesthesia to make his reputation on the strength of his knowledge of the alphabet. Oh, well, it's, you know, uh, the Mapleson circuits uh, are known by everybody worldwide. People still come into the department and ask if Bill is here and can they have his pho their photograph taken with Bill Mapleson. Bill is a tremendous individual. He's such a great person. He is kind, generous, thoughtful, and he gives. Um, he gives his knowledge, he gives himself, he gives his enthusiasm, and he gives his care to all around him. So I went and the adverts had wanted in the anaesthetics department in Cardiff someone with a wide knowledge of physics, physiology or pharmacology. And I thought, well, that should do to get some interviewing experience. So I told my mother it will do for five years. And that was nearly 60 years ago and I'm still at it. <laughs>